Welcome back. And just before we discuss those um, top business risks facing uh, businesses in Africa and, of course, um, in Nigeria in 2017, let's quickly cross over to the FMDQ fixed income market for today's proceedings at the, at the debt market. Ifanye Akweche joins me now. Good afternoon, Ifanye. Good afternoon. Right. Yesterday we saw, uh, uh, we, we recorded a bearish uh, yield both in both markets, the Treasury bill and, of course, the, the bond uh, market. What is the sentiment like today in terms of yield? Hello, Ifai. What is the sentiment like today in terms of yield? We seem to be having issues with um, the telephone system there. We move on now. Allianz Risk Barometer 2017 has identified macroeconomic development and market developments as the top business risks of 2017 in Africa and the uh, Middle East. Uh, published by the Allianz Global Corporate and Specialty Africa, the sixth annual Allianz Risk Barometer identifies the top corporate perils and potential responses for 2017 based on the insight of more than 1,200 risk experts from more than 50 countries. Now, the head of property, Allianz Global Corporate and Specialty Africa, the song Malangu joins me now to look at the leading risks in Africa and Nigeria. Thank you very much for joining us. You can see me smiling there. That name seemed to be quite tongue twisted, you know. But at least you try. Well, thank you very much for having you in the studio. So tell me hmm. about Allianz Risk Barometer. What do you seek to achieve with this? The Allianz uh, Risk Barometer, um, we've been running the survey for the past seven years. And we are looking at identify, identifying top risks that affect businesses across the world. And as you, can, as you mentioned earlier, we have done this in over 50 countries. We've had almost 5,000 responses from the 1,237 risk experts around the world. Now, what is your methodology like? Uh, it's an online survey. Uh, we pick um, risk experts around the world, businesses, risk managers, um, also our risk consultants, even insurance managers within uh, all over the world, and they have options in terms of uh, there's a questionnaire and they'll be able to pick what they feel is, uh, affects their, their businesses for the future. Now, looking at your, some of your findings for the 2017 market development, yeah, is number one on risk, uh, risk for businesses, of course, in Africa. Yeah. How? Uh, talk to us about this. When we talk about market development, in particular in Africa, what we're seeing is there's an increase in new technologies that are being used. Uh, we're also seeing disruptive uh, business models. We're seeing also a lot of interconnectivity and uh, automation. So uh, when you talk about automation, we talk about robotics, you're talking about machine learning, and that's just transforming and increasing competition as to how a business has to function today. Now, now, let's look at Nigeria. From your uh, uh, findings there, of course, macroeconomic um, development is number one for Nigeria as um, top risk. Now, as a risk expert, how can businesses begin to deal with this risk in 2017? Because that seemed to be a major problem um, looking at the macroeconomic environment yes. for businesses. I think, uh, as, as, as you mentioned, uh, the businesses are going through a tough period at the moment because of the slowdown in economic growth. There's also um, you know, a shortage of uh, forex, uh, which also, um, uh, and also uh, there's a change in terms of uh, uh, foreign exchange uh, as well, and which is impacting on imports. So government and business need to find solutions to make sure that they can accelerate, uh, also to assist, accelerate policy to stimulate this economic growth. Now, we have seen various government policies, particularly that of Nigeria. Do you see some of the things government are doing being supportive to businesses in time like this? 
I think uh, on, on that point is uh, government uh, policy has to be obviously accelerated to, to support businesses. And uh, uh, as, as, as Alliance, uh, when we look at these surveys, we look at also what's, what the main, major cause. And for example, the number one top risk that's affecting business today is business interruption. And that has happened in terms of the survey for five consecutive years. Business interruption is the major uh, threat to a lot of businesses. So that's what keeps risk experts uh, awake at night. Then the causes of this business interruption, you're looking at uh, the fact that there's an uh, increase in, in fire and explosion, and also there's also an increase in natural catastrophes. So that's where we come in as Alliance to provide risk solution as to how we can help our, our customers manage and mitigate against that risk. Now, when you look at your uh, findings for Africa and Middle East, the number four is changes in legislation, still talking about government policies, not, not particularly for uh, Nigeria now, but for Africa in general, changes in legislation and uh, regulation. You talked about government change, economic sanctions, protectionism, mm. you know, and uh, so on. How those businesses deal with that? I think also what's important is that um, uh, some of the changes in, in regulation is, is there to, to protect the end consumer and businesses as well. So you do see some positive uh, uh, direction on that. If you think about uh, the cyber issue that we have, which we can talk about as well, there's also increase in terms of regulation, in terms of uh, protection of information. So there is, uh, it's going in the right direction for businesses. For glo globally, I mean, you did the global survey, you have the African survey, and um, of course, each country uh, has theirs. Globally, business interruption, you know, cyber incidents are top risk. Why are these major concerns? They're major concerns. If you look at business interruption, because business interruption is the number one uh, risk for business because that's what can have the most significant impact on a company's balance sheet. So if something goes wrong, um, a big fire explosion and the business cannot continue to operate. That has a direct impact to your balance sheet, to your shareholders, and, uh, and, and insurance companies like Allianz, we are there to be able to protect and to be able to uh, uh, reduce the volatility that is caused by a major interruption to the business. So in doing your business, particularly in Nigeria, what has been the responses in terms of giving you know, assistance to dealing with risk, what has been the responses coming from businesses? I think it's been very positive. Uh, for example, it is the first time that Nigeria is, feature, is featured in our risk survey. We had over close, I think, eight, about 88 uh, responses, and um, which is a very positive development to show that that uh, we we are we are living in a global interconnected world, and we and we're able to learn from each other. And there's also forums that have been set up throughout the year where we can have exchange uh, uh, knowledge and share knowledge as to how we can improve risk across the continent, which is very positive for us. All right. Thank you very much um, for your time. Tusang. <laughs> Tusang. How do you pronounce that name again? Tusang. Malangu. Matangu. <laughs> Matangu. Yes. Thank you very much for coming to the Thank studio. you, Shemir, for your time. Right. Well, that was uh, Mr. Tusang Matangu. Um, he is the head of Property Alliance Global Corporate and Specialty based in South Africa. Well, that's it on today's program. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Chimizi Ubi Iwawu.